Hello, welcome back to the Climbing Nomads YouTube channel. In this episode we're going to take a look at solutions um, and both of us, myself and Brett, are really big fans of the La Sportiva solution shoes uh, and we use them quite extensively. But the eagle eye viewers of you might have noticed that I actually wear the women's version and also the men's version interchangeably. So in this episode we're going to have a look at the differences that I've found in using both of these two and just general thoughts on them. So this is not a paid promotion or anything like that, we just we just use solutions um, and are very big fans of them. There is a very slight difference in the fit. I find the women's solution to be slightly narrower at the front and the men's tend to be slightly wider. So depending on the time of day or the conditions, if my feet are slightly bigger, the men's actually fit a little bit better. Um, when my feet sort of get hot and expand, they tend to feel very, very snug in the women's. They both fit in general as well as each other because they're, they're of a size that, that fit quite snugly. Sportiva put the Vibram XS grip two rubber on both of these shoes. So the men's and the women's both have four millimeters of the soft sticky rubber uh, up in the, the top there. They've also got a very good heel cup and I, this is my favorite heel cup. I find it really good for just being able to bang onto an edge or even just like use it on its side as well. Uh, but I do know that some people find that that's quite aggressive on the heel and don't find that comfortable. But both of them have been pretty similar to me. The main differences come in the actual stiffness of the shoe, the overall stiffness. So Sportiva put 0.9 millimeters in the women's around the midsole and 1.1 millimeter midsole around the men's. And that difference in millimeters means that when you're standing on something smaller, the men's shoe gives a slightly stiffer shoe so it's easier to stand, feels more rigid. Whereas the women's is, because it's slightly less in that midsole area, means that it does tend to flex a little bit more. So due to that, you have a slightly stiffer shoe and a slightly softer version, which is why I actually use both. So for me, it depends on what kind of climb I'm actually about to do. So if it's got a lot of smearing, I'll go for the women's, because having that more flexible midsole means that you can actually get quite a good smear effect on that, whereas the men's sometimes feels a little bit too stiff, a little bit too aggressive, and can result in popping off things. Indoors as well, I find the women's is slightly better than the men's because some of the holes that you find indoors on plastic tend to be those quite large volumes that do require smearing quite a lot of the time. Yeah, and they're a good go-to shoe if you're in somewhere like Fontainebleau with the sandstone, but there's a lot of smearing where you've got lots of divots and dishes and things and you want to put your toe into those things. I find the women's are better and they excel in that terrain. When it comes to something like a very small edge or a crimp or something quartzy or even limestone, I find that the men's is much better to actually stand on. Um, so you get a really nice hard edge on that, which means that you can really drive the power down through your toes and feel like you can stand up a lot better on them. So for instance, I was trying Carnage and the very first foothold that you put your left toe onto to stand up. I was just about tickling the big right hand crimp with the women's solutions switched over to the men's and then instantaneously was able to make that reach a lot lot easier just for the ability to stand up a lot more powerfully onto that toe. There's some really good pros for both of these shoes and even though it's got the word woman's attached to it there are a lot of male climbers um, who do opt for the women's solution. I think having both has been a real bonus for me um, just being able to choose between the two depending on depending on you know the time of day, whether my foot's swollen or the type of climb that I'm about to do or even just the rock type that you're about to get on and actually having it with the, kind of the same fit, the same last, the same shoe and having all the benefits but being able to have a slightly softer shoe, a bit more sensitive and then also a slightly harder, edgier version of it that's a bit stiffer as well. So it is a little bit of a luxury having two pairs of shoes, not just two pairs of shoes, two pairs of solutions but I kind of justified it in that if, for example, a pair of shoes lasted me a year, I, I, at the end of that year I just have to buy another pair of shoes. Whereas if you have two to begin with and you kind of spread the load over both of them, hopefully rather than just lasting one year, between them they'll last two years. So you're kind of spending the same amount of money anyway over a slightly longer period. 
So those are just a few of my thoughts on the two different solutions, men's and women's, and I like them both equally. <laughs> I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you do have any comments or questions, do feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, we do do other videos and tutorials, so check those out on our channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!